Good afternoon. My name is June Kim. I'm the acting United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York. Today, we announce charges of fraud and corruption in the world of college basketball. The picture painted by the charges brought today is not a pretty one. Coaches at some of the nation's top programs soliciting and accepting cash bribes. Managers and financial advisors circling blue chip prospects like coyotes. And employees of one of the world's largest sportswear companies secretly funneling cash to the families of high school recruits. Uh, they would file false certifications about their amateur status and receive athletic scholarships in return. College coaches took cash bribes from managers and advisors in exchange for directing players and their families to those bribers. In the second scheme, managers, advisors, and those affiliated with the sportswear company worked together to funnel money to families of some of the country's top high school recruits, upwards of $100,000, for the player's commitment to play for the schools sponsored by that company. So this one shows the coaches. This is the alleged coaches bribery screen. We have charged four college basketball coaches. Chuck Person, Lamont Evans, Emmanuel Richardson, and Anthony Bland. They are all associate or assistant coaches at major Division I schools with top-tier basketball programs. These are the managers and advisors who paid the bribes to these coaches who in turn pressured players uh, to go uh, to use these managers once they turned pro. In exchange for bribes ranging from $13,000 to almost $100,000 each, these coaches allegedly pushed particular managers and advisors on the players and their families. And certain of the coaches arranged for separate payments to be made to the families as well. Anthony Bland described what he could do for the managers and advisors this way, quote, I can definitely mold the players and put them in the lap of you guys. The professionals whose lap the corrupt coaches put their players in were the defendants, Christian Dawkins, Manish Sood, and Rashawn Michelle. The madness of college basketball went well beyond the big dance in March. While pushing these professionals, the bribe coaches showed little regard for the players' well-being. They ignored red flags, seeing only the green of the cash bribes flowing their way. For example, in steering players to, to a financial advisor, who it turned out was actually cooperating with the government, most of the coaches never asked the advisor a single question about his qualifications, his track record in handling players' money, or really anything else about his business. A simple Google search by the coaches of the advisor's name would have revealed that the SEC had brought securities fraud charges against him just last year, including for misusing his professional athlete client's money. Month, The defendants exploited the hoop dreams of student athletes around the country